Tonight is January the 19th, 2014, and I'm going to bust this tube and look inside it. Uh, anybody that watches my YouTube videos knows I um, have an amplifier that runs a pair of these. I got this one off of eBay. Same place I got all the rest of them. Lot, lots of good eBay sellers out there, but you run across that dirt bag every once in a while. And there was a dirt bag sold me this one. You can see all those brown spots. Don't buy one with that. I didn't see it in the picture when I bought it. Anyway, this tube is dead. It does light up, but it does not work. And I can say that because I got something to test it in. You can also see there on that shield, that metal shield in there, that it looks like a big shadow. That's another sign of a bad tube. Burned up once it's been used up. Also, it doesn't have any label on it. It's so burned off. You can see it used to be right there where my thumb is. Anyway, what I'm going to do is uh, a lot of these older tubes, and I guess the new ones too, they have a radioactive sign on them. The emblem symbol and uh, because they have a thorium impregnated tungsten filament I've done this before and I did not get a reading I'm gonna do it again we'll also look at the grid structure in there this is a triode and see if we can physically see what's wrong with this guy here's the uh, Geiger count I'll be using I've had this for a number of years I, I run the output out here in, in, instead of to a speaker I run it to a little uh, little amplifier and I've got the uh, the gamma shield open and you can talk us to get up here see and it measures beta really nicely works real good that way you don't have to have headphones and uh, so I'm going to smash this thing I'll, I'll put the camera down here so you can hear me smash it then I'll turn it off and pick the pieces out and lay them up there but here is what I'm going to do I'm gonna, uh, put it inside three bags here, like this. And I'm gonna whack it with a hammer. See if the it explode. Down here in this trash can. I turn my head and close my eyes. Hmm, that wasn't so bad. That wasn't much of a kaboom, was it? Okay, let me pick it out, lay it out, and we'll we'll examine it. I'll start to count. Okay, well. Oh, there's the grid right there. That's part of it. I, it's so smashed up, you can't tell anything. But there's the grid of it. It looks okay, except the smash part. See, there's the plate. It still looks nice. Don't see a problem with that. And there's what's left not much and that looks like that's part of the filament right there but I never I've done this before and I never I never get any kind of readings see nothing now I'm not saying they're not radioactive but there must be so little here let's just check the whole pile see I've got the window open I don't hear anything do you I mean, here's the test source. This little, that little black uh, operational check source right there. When I put it up there, it pegs the meter. So we know it's working. But I have never been able to detect anything. And thorium, to the best of my knowledge, gives off uh, beta. You know, you can even get the old style uh, Coleman lantern. Um, mantles, and they'll uh, drive your uh, your um, Geiger counter crazy. Nothing, huh? Same thing I've done before. Nothing. Oh yeah, look, look how look how badly that is burned. Whoops. The bottom of that. Look, isn't that? That's what you see, man. That tube has been hot for a long time. Seen better days plate. I might keep that around. That's kind of cute. And there's the grid. Pretty uh, pretty tight grid, huh? Little little tiny wires. And that's not radioactive either. I get no reading at all. Well, there it is. I'm not doubting that if they say they are, they are, but I sure can't measure it. 